pour Mike Woods et à l'instant également George Bennett. Eh bien, quelle finale absolument incroyable. Ah ben, sommes-nous en train d'assister avec... Okay, I'm gonna try to be super quick. They're like me, so yeah, I'm gonna try. No, okay, I'm going to be quick. Okay. I'm going to be quick, it's like affirmation. Boom. Okay. Yo, that was great. So, thank you, guys. I think you're in a fantastic place. I really do. I've seen a lot of teams done at Tour de France now. It's like the 30th, 29th Grand Tour, I think, for you two. For sure, your, your biggest opportunity and strength here is all of these guys. And when you communicate well, you're the longest team in the race, without a doubt. So, try and enjoy it. Hey, Egan. Hey. There are so many people that think that you are the big favorite. What do you think of that? I don't know. I'm not sure if I am the big favorite. I think that uh, with G here, that he won the, the last year, full sun. The, the win in, in Swiss was really important for me. I did at the first part of the season, uh, Colombia, Paris Nice, that I won, Catalonia, I did third, and then to, to go to, to Swiss and again to be in the podium in a World Tour race was okay. Yeah, it's, it was not just uh, luck, you know. It, it helps in a way, it can just take a bit of pressure off myself, you know. I guess if you're just the sole leader, it's, um, well, yeah, you, you messed up for everyone. So. <laughs> I guess you know having two co-leaders takes a bit of that pressure away. Even the last year when he was a leader and co-leader with uh, Fumi, he was relaxed and sometimes, you know, joking uh, about it. From, from, from our experiences, you can see from the beginning of the tour, of the season, within speaking about three guys, Chris Froome, Egan Bernal, and uh, Gerard Thomas. Obviously, Jay uh, Froome now is, is out of uh, of this tour. It's not something new. So they've been working on it, they, they, they knew that, they, they, they find solution and it's, it's great. I think it's going to be really great. It's something we've done time and time before, not necessarily with these two guys, but you know, with G and Froome and all types of races we've done it, so we know how to deal with it. And I think the most important thing in the whole equation is that them two co-leaders get on well. Who is the, the strongest will help the, to the other one. You know, you've got to put your hand up if you're not good and, and work for the other one, both on the same wavelength. They both want to achieve the same goal, which is win the race as Team Ineos. Ah, oh, that's not really an issue. I think I we never discuss that on the bike. Like, going to turn out anyway in the race, who is the strongest of the two. So for me, it doesn't change a lot. The job I have to do, still have to support them. So it's just great to have someone like Egan alongside me when it comes to uh, you know the, the final of a big, the big stages. He's just a good, good fun guy to race with. He reminds me quite a lot of Froome actually. Yeah, kind of a complete bike rider and. Uh, Quite exciting going forward. So you have to have the team, uh, a really commitment team, for one or two leaders. When you have two leaders capable to win, it's open much more option. Um, and then the most complicated, I would say, but it's, it's not. It's just you have to sit down with guys and just talk, be open mind, and it's quite exciting, I think, to start again with um, the ex uh, tour winner, the last tour winner, and uh, someone who's gonna hopefully become one of the years, maybe this year, who knows. Uh, uh, the Tour de France winner, yeah. A very warm welcome to stage one of the Tour de France 2019. This 106th edition kicked off with a relatively flat outing around Brussels. The first yellow jersey was expected to go to a sprinter. The road has gone down as we come over and I thought, give me the core of your arm. Yeah, that way. It's all good. You're right to it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Catch your shoulder. Uh, lines on the left. Yeah, no, I was. I knew instantly I was okay, but it's just it was just the frustration of it. It's kind of like, like you get to three k to go, all really good. You know, the boys did an amazing job all day, and then you know let the sprinters get on with it, and and then they just go and crash like they always do anyway, don't they? So, yeah, that's just the way it goes. But luckily, no no damage and um, all good. All the best. Hey, good luck. Have a great cycle. Cheers. He's done quite well in uh, yeah. TTTs and the Tour, I think. Yeah, I've always been a couple of seconds after the winter. Yeah. 2.15 seconds. Yeah, that was when we were less than a second on it. Yeah. Yeah. Last year was a few seconds on it. Four. Four seconds last year. Yeah. Ugh. Take that today. Eh? you take that with you, George. I'd take that. 
that. Yeah, I take that. Is it like really important? Like really, really got to pull together. Like absolutely watch each other's backs, communicate. Really, really, really. If we do get some challenges, stay calm, think clearly, no stress. Missing turn, eh? Wild is missing turn. Awesome. Oh, I cannot see who is. Okay. Luke, Luke is done. Luke is done, boys. So you're six, you're seven. Go, 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 go. Ay, ay, come on, 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 come on. Good job boys, that was, uh, that was fast, 29 minutes, 18 seconds, nice, 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 really good, really good. Good job man, good job for you too, just for me. We have to go that way again. Huh? We have to go that way to podium. Okay, okay. 56 kph, how does that sound? Oh, we want to go for 7. <laughs> What? Ineos were the first to start. They've waited for a long time and now they step away from the podium because Jumbo Visma have done it again. Turnison defends yellow and he extends his lead. <laughs> Stage six will give us a clearer picture of the strongest contenders for overall victory this year as the riders tackle La Planche de Belfi for the fourth time since 2012. So, big day today, stage six is uh, the hardest uh, Planche de Belfi stage that we've done in you know, Tour de France. And obviously, with this extra kilometers, it's going to be fun to watch, not to ride. One thing we didn't really yes. talk so much about is the breakaway here. I mean, there's two ways of doing it. We, uh, we haven't got the jersey, you got the jersey, Kreuzweg is also ahead of us. Yes. But, or the other way is we just, you know, it's going to attack until the climb probably. Yes. And then on the climb we just take the drop. If you see, you have to be in the front and you see some of the GC guys jumping, we don't want this. For the rest, actually, you know why? If someone from the break wins the stage, better. There's no any kind of bonif, simple race. And um, don't need to bring back the break or whatever. Okay? A strong looking breakaway forming early on with 14 riders, potentially a stage winner among them, especially with the peloton happy to let the gap swell out to over seven minutes. So, it's really good now for a quick step to, um, yeah, to ride a little bit, would be nice. No? There you go. This ain't no movie star. No. No, so no movie star. I think no one's really can uh, win the tour in the front. Yeah, also there's a few RC Yeah, exactly. This break uh, is good break. Some good rollers, good puncher rollers, and some good climbers. So that break should go normally. Yeah, yeah maybe for stage victory. Movistar's Mikel Lander attacking from the peloton meanwhile, but the Spaniard was soon reeled back in by the implacable Team Ineos. Stay calm. Eh? We follow and we still come all together. It's going to be a long climb, a long, long climb. Ciccone on course to snatch the yellow jersey, and so race leader Julian Alaphilippe digging deep to try to keep hold of it. Ciccone will get there. He hasn't made it. Alaphilippe loses yellow. Very good job, Jay. Fantastic again. Really good. Huh? Chapeau. Huh? Chapeau again. Very good job, boys. Michael Landa et Gabriel Nal, Adam Yates, Dan Martin, l'arrivée à l'instant pour 
Bertrand-Coureur avec Ricoberto Oran, Michael Woods et à l'instant également George Bennett qui coupe la vie maintenant l'ancien vainqueur au sommet de la Jacques de Philippe qui a répète cette arrivée qui a été un très spectaculaire mouvementé So Jay is the best uh, best finisher from the the peloton for the yellow jersey, and he got only maybe five, six, seven behind. To hear what G what G's got and done there, it's uh, we knew he could do it. We knew we were in a good chance to be in a position to try and repeat what we did last year. So it's good. It's a long way to go, but it's nice to just show, you know. Uh, here we go again. And uh, also with uh, Egan, he was also right there in the mix, so uh, great day for us. Okay, he's always getting to the bus. Thanks very much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go slowly, Yep, progress. Okay. Yeah, cool, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just you can't, you can't do two things at once. You can't massage and Wait, I need to stop. Think of a question. Are you looking forward to dinner? Oh, day six or, and I'm already getting a bit fed up with rice. <laughs> I think the main thing is everyone's just riding well together, communicating and you know swapping roles. And I think that's the what makes our team so strong, really. But still only stage six. It's a hell of a long way to go. It's like you look at the TT on stage 13 after that. So it was eight days and six of them are all big GC days, that's where the race will be won. But obviously it's nice for morale to have a good day today. GC wise, up until the rest day now, is, it shouldn't be um, an issue, but you just never know with this race. You need to always be ready for anything. Expect the worst, hope for the best. <laughs> Yeah, I guess uh, there was a slight change to GC in the end, but um, with the little crash and I wasn't able to follow um, Alaphilippe and, and Pino. Yeah, it's frustrating because you never like losing time when it's due to a bit of bad luck, not bad leg. The boys were just incredible. Gianni and, and Criato got me going and then had three of the guys then to pace me back up. So Alaphilippe back in yellow, Pino up to third, 19 seconds ahead of Geraint Thomas, who was briefly held up by that late spill. Lost that battle, I guess, but um, Still a lot, a lot of racing to go. A long transitional stage today between Sandflor and Albi. On paper, one that could favour a breakaway before tomorrow's well-earned rest day. The first 10 day was supposed to be the Team Time Trial and the Plange de Belfi. And uh, the last couple of days have been a bit also windy. So we plan a little bit to see where we could actually split or if we could have some splits. With around 65 kilometers to go, Team Ineos decided to mix things up at the front. There was then another huge attack at the front of the peloton with just over 30 k to go, and this time they did some serious damage as a host of GC favorites missed the split. Viviani Venat! And today was, yeah, it was a present. Yeah, we can call it like this. One big present of one minute 40, gain of the most of the main GC contender. Just for just to be focused, be focused, and um, and uh, ride at the other group. So uh, just, just just fantastic to be honest. Sometimes you have to wait. He starts riding, yeah, and he just goes back. Straight away we moved up, and then uh, quick step just continued and it split, and uh, yeah, we were all there. I think you just got to expect any day for anything to happen, and um, that's what we'll keep doing. But yeah, on paper, the TT is the next big test. It's incredible to be in this position in this time. To be honest, I yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this. Today was incredible, really. We were just, it was one of those days we just had to be on the ball, concentrate the whole time and uh, gained a lot of time in the end, which was, which was really good. And yeah, the whole team committed, it was, was, was amazing. Yeah, we are in a really good position. It's the, the first time in the podium. Yeah, it was, was special. Yeah, I think with myself and Bernal right up there, Egan. I think, uh, yeah, we're in a great position. We can say they are, they are on top of the shape, there's no doubt. So I think there's two things, two leaders are good, but I think the dynamic inside the group is just perfect. So I think that makes also a big difference. That's gonna make big, big, big difference for, for the next two weeks, I'm sure.